Joining me now, one of our favorites, Louisiana Senator John Kennedy. Senator, Biden ended his press conference um, in a way that I, can't, I think kind of says it all. Watch. Do you think you have a mastery of all these um, details, the threshold numbers, the 14 days thereafter? We will exam. It's sad, or I, uh, you know, the, the highest and best use of the president's time at this point would be uh, selling catheters on late night TV. I mean, it's uh, it really is sad, and we all know someone uh, who, who's reached that age. We wouldn't even think of giving him or her the toughest job in the world. Um, if the president were my father, I'd take away his car keys. What about this border situation in terms of national security concerns? We know the economic costs are well, in the hundreds of billions of dollars to this country. I've read the executive order. Um, the person who wrote it is either, is either sell deep stupid or a skilled liar. Um, the, the, I think the, the appropriate term for it is a scam. It, 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 it doesn't limit people coming in. It says the, you, there can be an unlimited number of people coming into our country illegally so long as they come through a port of entry. And it'll take the cartels a skinny minute to figure that out, that loophole out. And then if you go to the very end, Section 3B, it says everything before this notwithstanding, if the Secretary of Homeland Security decides he needs to let someone in for, quote, humanitarian reasons, they can come in. Well, they have zero credibility on this issue. And in fact, they went, the president made sure to try to reassure the left that this is just temporary today. Well, it doesn't do anything. And, and I, I predict the main effect of this executive order will be to, rem to remind the American people that uh, living under President Biden has been one long prayer. That he has been spectacularly awful, not just on the border, but on so much else. Um, we probably need to get one of those gigantic clocks and put it in Times Square that, uh, that counts down the minutes and the hours and the days. There are the number of illegals that have come uh, here. That would well, be nice, until but President we don't even know Biden how many. does something that makes sense. The humiliation of America on the world stage because of this. I mean, I'm not one to say, oh, the leaders think this, who cares? But we spend $840 billion a year on our military. Yeah. And, I mean, we're celebrating, of course, the uh, D-Day landing uh, this week, uh, the, the huge anniversary. You know, not many of our World War yeah. II generation left. But now this is what America is. An invasion is ongoing and we keep funding the government. We keep saying, OK, wait, help is coming. Trump will win. But meanwhile, what damage has been done? I mean, if you're President Xi or Putin, you're watching this going, this is the representative democracy, Senator? Well, two points. Most countries die by, uh, by suicide, not by murder. Is that what's happening here? And in part, if you look at the state of our country today, do you know of anyone who's better off today than they were four years ago, unless you are an illegal alien? I don't. Oh, Jeff Bezos, maybe. Um, num num number two, um, I think, I think the, our enemies not only don't fear President Biden, uh, they don't respect him. They think he, they can shove him right through that wall. And I think they're going to take an, make an enormous effort to keep him in office. In fact, I predict if you took... President Lopez Obrador in Mexico and turned him upside down and shook him, President Biden would fall out of his pocket. And I predict that over the next couple of months, President Lopez Obrador, who is a, a far left socialist, is, is going to try to slow down some of the uh, people coming into our country illegally. Just to help. Just to help. And then if pre President Biden is reelected, they'll just jack it back up again. The Republican Party now, I think, is more united than it's been in a long, long time. I know the different wings of the party, I agree but with just that. given what's happened to the country, there there is no choice here. There's no nuance. President Trump, former President Trump, has to be the rallying point for trying to save this country at this point. Well, I think here's the way most fair-minded Americans will look at it. This is what they'll say: 
Republicans aren't perfect, but the other side's crazy. And it's led by Joe Biden. Do you think he's and, leading it really, Senator? And, and, you're a smart guy. You, you have this homespun way, but you're very crafty and smart. Is Joe Biden make? I mean, you saw that man. Is he making any big decision? If not, who is running this country right now? Well, he, 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 President Biden, it's one of three circumstances, Laura. He's either a woke ideologue um, or he's a scared politician and will do anything to be reelected. Uh, or he's a skilled liar. Or he's run by someone else. Or he's run by someone else. But it, but you would have to be a, uh, a, 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 a scared to death to, to just, who with any sort of integrity would just say, even though I'm the president, I'll let you tell me what to do. I, I think what happened when, when he was uh, elected, his staff sat him, sat him down and said, Joe, you can either go down in history as President Obama's sidekick or you can be Franklin Delano Roosevelt. And President Biden's attitude is, well, I have principles, and if you don't like them, I have others. And so I, always think, been that I think I'll be, I'll take door number two. And so he runs as this moderate, but instead we get the first cousin of Bernie Sanders. And they think the American people are stupid. The American people... They may be poorer under President Biden, but they're not stupid. They get this. They see this. They look at the border. The crisis at the border is man-made. Why did you think and they did And that man's it? name is Joe Biden. But why, why did that. they do this? This was a purposeful effort. Do you agree with me that this is an attempt to remake the country? Yes. I mean, you, you, you don't have to be Mensa material to figure that out. Look at the, the economy, look at health care, look at our border, look at crime, look at our international relations, look at the war in Ukraine, look at Gaza, look at Afghanistan, look at our relationship with Iran. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, we haven't been this vulnerable as a country since well before the world wars when we were trying to, to just stay out of everything. And then we got pulled in. Um, and it's sad, but it's fixable. It is fixable. But I, I believe this. I hate to be so cynical. I think the, the only place we're going to find a, a more secure border and uh, a saner country is in the voting booth. I've given up on President Biden. Yeah. Well, Senator Kennedy, great to see you Good in see you. studio of Thank all you. places. And let me just show. say, he was offered hairspray and didn't take That's it. That's right. I don't. Yeah, like a real it. man does want hairspray, right? It, it, okay. it's, it's, I'm not a hairspray. No, man. I love it. He's like, don't no hairspray, Senator. Great to see you as Thanks, always. Laura. Thanks so much.